The camera is supposed to be on. Hello, uh, you may have noticed there was no video yesterday. That's because people, I can't, you know, I, I get burned out. I see myself making these videos and I'm, I think to myself, these aren't very good. And I get a little discouraged. And the truth of the matter is that nobody wants to hear the shit that I think every day. This is not an, I'm not an everyday guy. Uh, everyday people are more like radio DJs, talk show hosts. That's not me. I, I'm not supposed someone you, you really want to be hearing from every day. And that's why I didn't make a video yesterday. You know, I just got burnt out. I got, I was tired. Um, yeah, this is going to be very nonchalant one. Not a lot of effort put into this one or anything like that. I didn't shave today, as you can see. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think I can make a video every day. I really don't think I can. So, um, but I will say that I noticed that, um, people on my YouTube page, there are people, this is the one thing I noticed. There are a few people who are actually fans of me who are waiting for these videos. Um, pardon me. Um, <laughs> That's really cool. I'm I'm honored and flattered that you care enough to hear what the fuck I think. I if that it makes your life any better. Oh, uh, I really appreciate it. Truly. Uh anyway, uh yeah, let's see what we what do we have here. Let me take the day off. It was good to take a day off. It was good to take a day off. These 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 videos can't be good every day. You know, I, I don't really put that much emotional effort into this. It's something I'm doing sort of out of drudgery, out of sort of because I feel like I have to do something, you know. As you feel, you probably have to do something, and that's why you're here watching this. And I am I feel for you for many, many different kinds of ways. I feel for your suffering, loneliness, emptiness, and <laughs> general uh, need. Uh, the Depo Dakota Access Pipeline, this is something, you know, Rachel Maddow is not going to talk about. Dakota Access Pipeline won a huge victory today. A federal judge uh, ruled against the drillers. I mean, unfortunately, tens of thousands of gallons of oil have spilled out of that thing now. But uh, the silver lining, I guess, is that they won a huge victory. And the reason I'm saying this is because I don't think... I don't think news outlets are going to even cover it. So for those 27 of you who get your get any information here, you'll have heard it. And you can go look it online and if you want to share it. Um, oh, I feel like this uh, this coronavirus thing is, is God. You know, for those of you who don't know me, I very deeply believe in God. I know there's a God. Um... If you don't, that's okay. I'm not mad at you. I once was someone who didn't, and I'm not going to push my view on you. But th this is – when I say God's this and God does that, it's because I believe in him because uh, I believe he's real. Um, so my statement about the, the coronavirus is God sort of um, forcing forcing us to deal with greed and corruption. And um, this bill that got passed – even though it's still a corrupt, total, majorly corrupt thing, and it barely, you know, it, it only minorly addresses uh, um, the problems that we have surviving the next few months as individuals. Uh, and even though... Uh, the Bernie Sanders people and the Democrats, I don't know how much, how hard the Democrats really fought, but the Bernie Sanders type uh, politicians fought so hard just to get the Republicans to put a, like a, a slightly better deal for poor people into this bill. Um, it highlights, like it's a, it's a highlighted thing that is gonna be harder for people to avoid seeing that all of these hundreds of billions of dollars are going to go to bail out 
these corporate industries and some some ridiculous sort of industries like the private jet industry and um, uh, fossil fuel and the fucking cruise ships. Really? We're going to go bail out the cruise ship? I mean, not... I, I, I just... It's kind of nuts, man. Um, so many people are applying for unemployment insurance because that's the kind of the only way to get paid is if you if you can collect unemployment. The twelve hundred dollar check. Thank God it's twelve hundred dollars. By the way, they were trying to make it six hundred for the poorest people. Um, again, I don't hate you Republicans. I really don't. I just don't understand how you don't. Uh, I don't understand how you don't see the problem with that. How you don't see the problem with in a in a crisis, oh, and and a lot of you do. And I'm not painting you all with the same brush because I'm I'm sure there are many conservative people out there who are like, um, saying, do think it's fucked up. And then there are a number of conservative people who think it's fucked up but are afraid to speak up in their community of conservative people because they'll be you know, alienated. And I know especially that's probably true in like the Orthodox Jewish community. If you think Trump's doing something wrong or you, you think you don't agree with some conservative idea and you were to speak up, it would be, you would be sort of looked at funny and beyond the pale. So I get, I do get that. But um, for those of you who don't, I, I don't, I don't really understand how you don't see the problem with that, that this, this is the reason <laughs> This is the reason we need a federal government for things like this right now to help people get through until things get back on their feet, which they will. They totally will. Um, I think I just think God is sort of taking a um, corruption in our culture by the throat right now. He's taking it by the throat and he's trying to be gentle with people. Um, and people are still locked in their sort of tribal political and social beliefs like the socialism you know it's 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 communism it's socialism to help people out no actually in this case it's not it's not communism to help people out it's actually what's right and what's moral and uh how especially christians i, I don't know you know jesus said we're struggling against powers and principalities how do christian people not understand that their the, the the very institutions they 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 are uh, proposing that are good are powers and principalities, the military complex, the media industrial complex, the the prison industrial complex, the corporations and the banks and and all of these you know um, nameless faceless sort of entities are powers and principalities. I just don't understand. I don't understand how a person who says they're Christian cannot figure that out. I don't want to tell people they're dumb because I know that's not the way to go, but uh, that's not the way to go with God. But, uh, you know, it's it's a little bit flabbergasting. That's a little bit exhausting. Um, anyway, on that note, Venmo me at Stephen Dash Lolly. Some of you already have. Jess P. Jemus, I said it right this time. Send me some money. I appreciate that, brother. Um, and uh, yeah, hit me up. Hit me up. Uh, thank you for all. Of, by the way, all of you who Facebook Messenger me and you know communicate. A couple of people who I've never met have been friends with me on the phone uh, during this time, which is really cool. I hope I've been a friend to you as well. I hope you've gotten. Um, you know, that you've had something good from coming out of talking to me. Anyway, uh, well, till tomorrow, I, I guess we'll find out if there's a video or not.